Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, and I hope you guys are as awesome as you've ever been. Now we all know that getting into one of the top IITs is the dream of millions of engineering aspirants in India, and IIT Delhi in particular stands as an unrivaled titan among the IITs, setting the gold standard for technical education in our country. Now one of the main reasons why I did. and millions of students continue to work hard to get into their btech program is the quality of their on campus placements and in this video we will be discussing about the entire placement process of iit delhi starting from the registration stage right till the final interviews okay so if you are someone who is still preparing for je or maybe you are a college junior or simply someone who is curious about placement processes in general then this video is definitely for you Now I am going to be sharing a lot of things from my personal experience too, and there are also going to be a lot of insights into how the processes at IITs are just crazy, and they are very much unique as compared to those at other colleges. Okay, so make sure that you stick till the very end to know about all such things. So let me start by telling you guys a very interesting thing uh, about the placement scenario at all IITs. So they are completely different from the processes at other colleges. including other tier 1 colleges as well okay so in almost all other colleges what happens is uh, companies keep visiting on random days okay and they also visit in random order as and when their hrs get in contact with the respective placement cells and also their tests and interviews they are all conducted on the day they visit itself okay so it might very well happen that uh, let's say microsoft visits a campus a week before google and as a result someone who got an offer from microsoft a week ago is now not allowed to sit for google due to the one person one offer policy okay however at iits what happens is the entire interview process is a 10 to 15 day event starting from 1st december and multiple companies visit each day in decreasing order of their value to the students this means that all of the top companies visit on the first day and other great companies but those with slightly less packages visit on day 2 and so on and so forth okay so there is this culture of so called day 1 companies day 2 companies etc and at least for day 1 and day 2 companies all their tests and assessments are conducted as much as 1.5 months before day 1 and day 1 and day 2 are reserved exclusively for the interviews of the shortlisted students okay Uh, and moreover even if you get an offer in the morning of any day you can still give the interviews for all the other companies that have shortlisted you and are visiting on that day okay so now naturally everyone wants to get placed in a day one company uh, which includes companies like google microsoft goldman sachs uh, consulting firms like bcg mckinsey etc and of course hfts and other trading firms uh, like jane street optiver graviton quadi nk securities etc etc all of which pay well uh, in crores okay so yeah uh, all right so let us begin by talking about the first phase uh, which is the registration and resume building period so the placement process at iitd formally starts around the second week of september uh, wherein students who do not hold a pre placement offer from the office of career services uh, which is the name of our placement cell they are automatically registered for the upcoming season and then they are asked to build their resumes now the best part about this is that they have a very smooth running in house software for creating the resumes where students can create different resumes for different profiles such as tech finance consulting and a whole lot of other profiles okay and uh, things like your cgpa and academic courses are fetched automatically from the iitd servers in order to avoid any malpractices now if you are someone who is looking for suggestions to make your cv for on campus placements then i would suggest you spend a significant amount of time in fine tuning your personal projects as well as the research projects that you've done under the guidance of professors since these are the things which matter to a lot of companies uh, visiting campuses other than your cgpa of course and they can sometimes become the difference between getting an interview shortlist and being rejected after the online assessment okay mention with utmost clarity what problem is your project solving and how well is it actually able to solve it using actual metrics and then you should be good to go okay uh, other than that uh, you should definitely mention your achievements in comparative programming of course uh, in case uh, you are targeting tech roles now for consulting roles hands down 
द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग फैक्टर इज गोइंग टू बी योर पीओ आर्स और पोजिशन ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ओके सो इफ यू आर इन योर फर्स्ट और सेकेंड ईयर एंड यू आर एमिंग टू वर्क इन कंपनीज लाइक बीसीजी एंड मेकेजी then make sure uh, you know that you actively seek positions of responsibilities in various events and fests uh, that are conducted in your college so students get around 3 to 4 days of time to finish making their resumes and uploading the proofs of everything that they have mentioned in it okay after which uh, there is again a rigorous screening and verification process which again lasts for around 3 to 4 days in which all the information entered by the students is strictly verified leaving no room for any kind of unfair activities All right so after the CV upload and verification deadline is up in around first week of October the placement tests and the pre-placement talks of companies begin Now this is an extremely challenging and stressful time for the students primarily because of the frequency and timings of all these tests I mean I still remember uh, we used to have as many as four back to back tests starting from around 7 pm and going on till as late as 1 pm and that to in person in the lecture hall complex now this is because you know uh, there are classes all throughout the day and so it is only possible to conduct these tests at night right so this period continues for around the next 1.5 months till mid november uh, which is when the end semester exams begin okay uh, yeah so talking about these tests uh, for tech roles uh, they are pretty much the same as your typical and standard oas uh, which consists of primarily dsa based problems accompanied by uh, you know writing some uh, sql queries sometimes and mcqs based on quantitative calculations statistics and of course cs fundamental topics like operating systems computer networks computer architecture etc okay So it goes without saying that in order to excel in these tests and you know to make sure that you at least get a chance to interview at any day one or day two companies you need to have done a lot of DSA practice and obviously if you are a competitive programmer with a rating more than around 1700 on code forces then pretty much all of these tests with the exception of companies like code nation uber etc uh will feel like cake walk to you okay also for quant based mcqs there is this website called brainstiller.com which can very well be your go to website uh for practicing since it has an exhaustive set of puzzles maths and strategy based problems uh, you know which will help you in both online assessments as well as in your interviews okay so finally for cs fundamentals in my opinion the best resource is definitely gate smashers So if you have time on your hands then you can go to the gate smashers playlist for each and every topic otherwise there are quite a lot of crash courses available on youtube itself and also various articles on gfg2 and you can very well use them all right so after all the tests and the end semester exams are finished the calendar finally strikes for december which means that it's time for day 1 again uh, i still remember the feeling i got while trying to sleep the night before you know it's just a weird mix of anxiety and excitement because normally when you have just one interview scheduled for the next day you feel nervous and yet there is a comparatively smaller sense of uncertainty because you will either get to the company or you won't but day one of iit placements is a totally different feeling it's not just about getting into the company or not it's about getting into which company you know it is pretty much the d day that you've been working towards for years and years straight uh, the day for which you spent many many years preparing for j and then studied so hard four full years in college right okay so a day before the interviews the students are required to fill up their preference order for all the companies that have shortlisted them and are then assigned the slots for their interviews accordingly okay now the interviews officially begin at 8 in the morning There is also one added constraint so no student can appear for more than 5 companies in a single day okay so if the number of shortlists that someone has exceeds 5 then they are only allotted slots for the top 5 companies according to their preferences now let's talk about another crazy element of it all well among all the excitement and all the rush it does not take a lot of time for things to go haywire and messed up the students are only given slots for the first round with all the companies but after that it's the company's choice to decide how many further rounds they want and in such a setting there are bound to be clashes between the interviews of different companies for each student okay since the time is limited and if you don't show up for the second or third round of any company 
because you know you are still giving the interview for another they simply skip you and move forward with all the other students okay and so the students need to make decisions that can have a deep impact into their future very quickly in a matter of a few seconds now the reason that these decisions are so hard to make is that you know there are a lot of times that the students need to decide between their dream companies in which they have a slightly lesser chance of getting in and some other company you know uh, which even though is in their dream company but they still have a much higher chance of getting in they need to make decisions by you know balancing out the risk and reward ratio and it's crazy to even think that nobody ever tells you things like this uh, when you are let's say preparing for je or even in the early semesters at iit it's totally insane that more than your actual technical skills your decision making skills and on top of that your luck determines where you will end up right okay so now coming to the actual interviews for tech roles again uh, these are mostly focused on dsa with a pinch of system design and cs fundamentals questions like design whatsapp design hotstar etc are pretty commonly asked and yeah uh, doing standard lead code medium and hard level problems is a great way to prepare for them uh, since most of the dsa asked in interview problems are you know uh, pretty much at this level only and it is not very hard in contrast to the online assessments okay also for hft based roles specifically probability and quant based puzzles are also commonly asked in fact if we go in depth into the hft interviews this video will probably become quite long uh, so it's probably best if we discuss the world of hfts in separate videos only so finally all the interview processes are finished around 6 pm and in a few hours the students receive their offers on the respective portals and they can finally sleep in peace right so uh, just talking about all this brings back all of my own personal memories from my placement times you know i was a part of a group of three very close friends and surprisingly all three of us got our offers on the same day and we were all just so happy we started dancing off right then and there and later that night we went out to you know cyber hub to celebrate and that was undoubtedly one of the most relaxed i've ever been right Uh, so yeah uh, this was a quick sneak peek into iit delhi's on campus placements i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you let me know in the comments about the kind of content that i should share in the future thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one